Okay, now let's move to the logout part. Basically, the logout process is going, what it's going to do is simply remove this access token from the local storage and after removing it, actually just call get authentication state async and then redirect the user back to the login page. So it's, it's something very simple. But before doing so, we have to add on the top right over here, like a drop down if the user is logged in to show like logout or my account or something like this. So uh, yeah, before doing so, let's push all those changes. So state them and I'll implement the logic of the login form. Click push. I've already done some change, so let's click. Yeah. Wait a little bit. Okay, here we go. That's good. So now I will go to the shared main layout, and over here we already have this mud icon button that actually had that menu, but I'm going to use, for example, if we check this menu, this one looks good actually. Let's see how we can use it. I'll go over here to menu. Let's see what is menu. This is menu. Okay, good. So open menu. So we need this one, that one that shows below. So I will, oh, here we have icon button. That's cool. So I think this is what we need. Let me take this menu over here. I will choose, I will take this one. And, and instead of putting here directly, I will create a component and I'll call this component login display. And here, we will make a check, authorize view, authorized, it is not authorized. So if the user is authorized, okay, we need the direction. Okay, sorry, I should take the bottom one. Just like that, this is very simple. Cool. And we need to take the mod. Okay, so simply we just have to set an icon. Let's remove the label. And the variant. And I'll set icon equals at icons dot field dot user. dot account dot profile okay we need to check the icons over here over here yeah this one material field dot person okay sorry for that okay here we go we found this one that's good set why true that's great and over here, we have to bring the user data. So I will type context dot user dot find first. Let's add over here using system security dot claims. So find the first claim, that's claim types, given name, and over here, this one dot surname, or no need, maybe just if we type welcome, like 
this. It's going to be great. And right now, let's type this one logout. And if it's not logged in, so simply add a mod button icon. Or sorry, mod icon button. Icon equals add icons dot fill dot sign in login okay good color equals color dot secondary and yeah I think this is what we need on a click I'm limit that just like this. So I will not create a code behind file for this one because it's a very simple component. So I will inject blazor.ilocal storage. Authentication state provider. this and we need at the end navigation that's good so for the login button if the user is not logged in so it's simply what it's going to do is just navigation dot navigate to slash authentication slash login Use single quotation over here. Okay, and now here just just implement the logic of the logout. So the logout, as I've said, is going to remove the local storage from the access token from the local storage it's called access token let's remove also the expiry date and then let's call authentication state provider dot get authentication state async and the last thing that we have to do is navigation dot navigate to Let's go to the login page. So it's something simple. Now let me try to put this one in the mod layout. I am going to set it over here within the login display one and make it like that. So let's run it. So right now I'm logged in. So I should see um, this message. But yeah, let's see. Uh, sorry, not message. This drop down menu to ask me to show me the user profile data and I can log out and so on. So, so okay, because I'm logged in from the previous session. Oh, this is weird. You have to change the color of this one. So let me click like this. And I'm seeing those, but we have to, to make it like aligned to the right one. Like this. We should use... Yeah, this one, I think. Let me see. Direction left, top. Okay. I think we have to make it just like this. Offset with the offset. Interesting. Okay. That's symbol. No worries. Let's just make sure that logout's working fine. If I click logout and assembly, nothing happened. And the reason why because I didn't call the function, which is makes sense. Okay, 
So direction is going to be bottom and direction I think let me make it right and here on click equals log out async you save and run and so here we go again that's cool if you click yeah this is what we want so direction is from right and the offset button which is why true okay that's good now if I click log out oh that's great you see and uh, right now if I open up the local storage nothing over here all the data removed what's going to happen if I try to go to the home page okay I can see the login button because right now I'm not logged in which is good and here I have the sign in button so one thing that I want to do that we will we want to prevent all access for those pages if the user is not logged in, which is this is what you are going to do in the next session. So thank you so much for watching and see you.